hey guys welcome to my channel and if you guys don't already know me i am samantha and let me just scoot you guys a little bit back okay and today's video is going to be um on three things one ways to save two what to do with the the toys the clothes the shoes the activity stuff that your kid has grew out of and number three what to do with your wrong thighs um so yeah if you want to know a little bit of the things that i have learned throughout my motherhood with my baby just stay tuned okay, so i'm gonna start with ways to save and this i barely found out today so kind of a newbie to it i don't know all the um tricks to it but i know one of them for sure and that is gonna be price matching so for example i needed to buy bottles today and i use the avent the natural flow ones so there you go okay these are the ones i use and um i was at walmart yesterday and they were $19.99 for the same 9 ounce 3 pack bottle and I was like I want I was just this close to buying them but and they were going to come out to $19.99 of course plus tax but when I came home I didn't buy them I was like you know what I don't need them and I came home and I was just snooping around the internet and I found out that on Walmart online they are $13.78 I believe and then I came across the target price, and the target price online is $14.87. So um, I had heard about price matching before, so today I took a trip to Target, and I picked up the 9-ounce bottles and the Natural Flow with plus the one-month ones, and they're all clear. And I picked them up, and I walked them to customer service, and... I, and I just I was like oh I'm here to I want to price match this so I just handed this to the cashier and he asked me what store I wanted to price match it to and since I already knew that it was 13 something at Walmart I just told him I go, went ahead and said Walmart and all he did was price match it and I paid for it and I paid $13 for these bottles which is great because if you if you see these at a Ross at a TJ Maxx which they do sometimes have them there they sell a pack of three for twenty dollars which is the same price or seventeen dollars that they sell them at the store and you just saved yourself a great amount of money and you don't you can't only do this with bottles you can do this with a lot of stuff you can do it with um anything that's not store brand that's not like target brand or walmart brand or that not that Target's the only one that carries it. You can't do that with those kind of products, but you can do it with anything that is a most, I would call it a universal product. The moment you walk up to it, take the exact the exact brand name and the product name, and you go put you put that input in you input that into Google, and Google will um, come up with all these different prices from all these different stores that carry that product, and yeah that's just a fast way to do it but if you want to do it what you want to do this more in depth you can come home go on um, your computer and snoop around sometimes they have better deals and you just price match so oh and just so you guys know price matching does not count for specials so for example these were buy one get the other one 50 percent off so i wasn't able to buy one for 13 13 um thirteen dollars and something cents and get the other one half price of thirteen dollars and something cents i was i would have to bought this one for thirteen dollars and the other one for thirteen dollars or i would have to bought this one for twenty dollars and the other one half off for ten so yeah so on to number two number two i told you guys i would do a video on it and i did fit i do know I do have a solution to what to do with your wrong buys, but I was not able to film it because the day I went to the store, I had my baby with me, and the other days that I've sold the stuff, I kind of it kind of will be weird if I film the person that I'm selling it to. So here it goes. Um. Okay. So I took my Mama Roo 
to a re kids resale store and I am from California so from Long Beach California which is in the county of LA and really close it's this our sister county is Orange County so um we have I don't know if these are everywhere but this we have them here they are I want to call them a thrift store but yeah a thrift store a kids thrift store so you take all your gently used products to them and they buy them off of you and they resell it so um, I came across Lil Posh which is I L P O S H resell and that is located in the city of Newport Beach or actually it's on Newport Boulevard in Costa Mesa so because it is one of the most popular ones I came across that one and I happened to sell them my Mama Roo. so when I walked in um, they had told me over the phone they would give me 110 store credit and so I kind of figured, you know what, I could use maybe a jumper or a walker and or maybe there's a diaper bag, a backpack diaper bag that I can switch it for. So I was willing to do it. So I drove all the way over there, which is like an hour and a half away from my house. And um, I got there and my, it turns out that my Mama Roo had a defect to it with the little toy thing that hangs on top of it with the little balls. Um, so the owner of the store didn't want to give me what she had told me over the phone anymore and she only wanted to give me 70 since i since i wasn't using the mamaru anymore and i thought that that was the only resale store around and i just wanted to get rid of it and it was an impulsive sell and it was a mistake basically point blank it was a mistake i got 70 dollars for my Mama Roo, the newest edition, the black edition, um, because she told me I can only give you 70 cash and $80 store credit because of the, I can only sell this for 130 So I kind of, it kind of, cons it made sense. So I said, okay, and I went ahead and sold it. But later, the, later that day, I see them post my Mama Roo on their Instagram and they posted it for 170 so I basically got ripped off learned my lesson I will never sell to a little posh resell again never will I step foot never will I buy anything for them because that is unloyal to me and I don't like that so that same day before I figured out what they were about what and everything I saw this jumper that I have right here and it is a Fisher Price jumper the I want to say it's a rainforest edition so I saw this and um, Sophia needed one and they tend to sell things half price of what they normally go for at the store so this one was 59 and I cleaned it down a little bit and I washed the seat and but when I did get it it was a little bit dirty um it was medium dirty not too dirty it was like around out of a 10 10 scale it was a five so I got it for $49 so that $50 and I used the cash that they gave me the $70 cash that they gave me for my mama Roo that I only used for two months so a brand new Mama Roo, I got $70 for it, total ripoff. Um, I bought this and my daughter likes it, yes. Um, I was going to have to buy one anyway. So and it's kind of in between. But here's the thing. Later that week that I sold my Mama Roo, like two days later, I came across another kid resale that... That apparently is right next to this resale. Um, it's in the same shopping center, just like three doors down, and they do consignment. So this one is called Newport Kids Resale, and it is also in, on, in the city of Costa Mesa on Newport Boulevard. 
and they do consignment of course and consignment you use it for products that are worth a good amount of money and all it is is you're not selling your item to the store that the store is just helping you sell your item so how that works is i could have took my mama roo in and said i want to put this under consignment and sign papers and they take like if it stores vary some more 15% or 20% of the amount of the price that the item sells for and you get a check so I could have got 120 130 for my mama Roo. could have would have didn't my loss so now I know I learned my lesson and another thing that really upset me is the moment I walked into Newport Kids resale I saw this same jumper in a perfect condition it was almost brand new for $30 so again I got ripped off $20 so just lesson learned do not impulsive buy snoop around snoop around as much as you can and yeah so whenever you have stuff that you want to sell clothes toys even your cribs baby shoes and they buy um you guys can check them out they buy a lot of stuff even for like up to 10 years old booster seats anything you can go ahead and sell them to a kid resale store just look them up online on instagram and you will find them so that is my suggestion to you and Another way to sell your stuff that your kid has grown out of or was an impulsive buy is on an app called OfferUp or an app called Let It Go. This app uh, will allow you to post your items and price them and description them and people in with a certain amount of radius around you can see your your profile they all come up on a page so let me just show you guys okay so this is the offer up page and these are just people that are that live around me and that they post their stuff so if I'm interested I just go ahead and click it and I can ask them a question message him i can lower their price i can make an offer and you it is a little bit dangerous and you have to be careful um and you just meet up and you swap and yeah and you can price them however you can say yes i'll let it go for lower yes i'll let it go for more no and yes so that is just the way that i have gone about my savings so and it i have got sold a couple stuff on offer up and i did sell some stuff um after i sold to little posh i sold some stuff to newport kids resell like i said i will never sell to little posh again but kids re but newport kids resell i will sell there is also a their sister store in los alamitos so if you're closer to this side los alamitos is closer i just happened to come across newport first so that is that i hope my video was um helpful and i hope you guys took from it and yeah i want to thank you guys for um checking into my video today and i want you guys to stay tuned to what i have coming next okay bye guys like comment subscribe if you already have it i'll show you guys sophia really quick she's taking a nappy Come on, say hi. Oh, she's so cute. Mama. She likes to sleep all covered up. So she even likes to put the blanket on her head, but I always have to pull it on and tuck it in right here all around her because she just loves to put the blanket in her face. So I have to keep watching her. So yeah, bye guys. Next video, if you have any requests, comment down below. Bye.